Don't do anything stupid, Talia. Nah, let's go for it. Are you here to sue for peace, Lord Whitehill? Lay down your arms, and I'll spare your lives. All right, I wouldn't have said it like that. <laughs> That's very funny. I've missed your unique sense of humor. But no, I'm here to end this once and for all. You got your little revenge on my men, but it's time you listen to reason. Hmm. Oh, what the fuck? That thing looks I really heavy. Your gates down and kill every last one of you. Or we could end the bloodshed here and now. This war is over, Asher. It ended the moment Roderick fell. By Ramsey's rules, I'm the victor here. This will all be mine now. One way or another. Oh, this is horse shit. Tell him to fuck off. <laughs> Are you truly that blind one? I am the Lord of House Forrester! <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> He's the fourth Lord Forrester. I've seen in as many moons, father. Fuck you, Griff. I should have beat the Let's shit out of you. Let's behind us. I'm willing to talk terms of your surrender. Surrender? Open your halls and bend the knee as my bannermen. You continue to produce ironwood under my supervision, of course. And you will join your house to mine. For all to see. By wedding my queen. <laughs> well, fuck me. Asher, you can't! It's rather generous terms, actually. That would be easier to believe coming from Gwyn herself. Where is she? Far away from all this, of course. Besides, I speak on her behalf as her father. I would just as happily kill you all and be done with it. But I'm very generously giving you a way to keep your bloody lives. Oh, one last thing. As a show of my goodwill, I brought home the body of your lord. I love me guys, it's fucking naked and it's full of um, blood. Oh, Jesus, am I right? Your brother was too stubborn to know when it was over. Roderick, let me see him. I want to see my brother. That's fucked up. I'm sure your people will be relieved to keep their lives. We'll take Ryan too. You want peace between our houses? Give me my living, brother. You have an hour. I'll be waiting in my camp. I will ambush you by your camp. Give me Ryan. Give me Ryan. Give me Ryan. Beard guy. Beard guy. You don't have to do this. Beard guy, no! Still there. I don't really want to do that. Okay. It's probably not even his. Oh, it is him. Don't touch it. Nope, we can bury him next to Ethan. I'm sorry, little brother. I've buried too many sons. I should have been here. I should have come home faster. Don't blame yourself, Ash. Blame the fucking bastards outside that wall. Forgive me, I, I just... 
Perhaps the time has come to truly let this bloodshed end. We simply accept. We bow our heads and Asher marries Gwyn. Craven! It's not the worst terms I've ever heard. I may have loved Gwyn once, but this isn't real. The Lord will have my head the moment Gwyn produces an heir. There will be no marriage. If we bow yeah. our heads now, we'll always say, I'd rather be just slaves. have us all die than uh, have fucking to kill serve. Them, Asher. Just... Piss on surrender. Let's ride out and kill them all. I agree. Right! To us! Spill their blood! Believe me, I want to kill every last fucking one of them. But I'm not sending you all out to certain death. Just don't have the numbers. But maybe we don't have to. Lord rules that house with an iron fist. His sons, his bannermen, do nothing without his say so. There may be 500 men outside that wall. Without Lord of the League. Exactly. They scatter like chickens with their heads cut off. That's good, but how? Lud will not simply cast aside his men and offer his neck. Such a task is easily said, but Lud is wary. We tell Lord exactly what he wants to hear. We invite him inside to celebrate and drink to our union. And then? An ambush. Your pit fight is hidden until the last moment. No, an ambush is too chaotic. Things could go badly quickly. Lud could escape. There's another way. Poison in his wine. There are those who would call poison a coward's weapon. Oh, no. come on. Lethal. And direct. Either plan is high risk. We only lure Lud inside if the whole family is there to sell it. Talia and Ryan will both be in danger. We're already in danger. I'll be there, Duncan. I'll pour the wine myself. Poison is dog shit. You're here for revenge. You want him to choke on your blade, not his vomit. But in ambush, there's no way to control. Everything could go wrong. Poison is targeted. Lud will be the first to fall. I'm sure I have such a toxin in my stores. No. I came here to wet my sword in Westerosi blood. It's what you promised us. Just like you're able to. Roads, my lord. We have to make a choice. These are the only options on the table. Asher is our lord now. The decision is yours. Wow. So I feel like if we poison him, it's not a, like, at least he's dead, but we could lose other members. But if we stage an ambush, we could all fucking die, and then they could just go fucking kill everybody else that's here. So basically, we either got Red Wedding, or... I don't know, but your basic battle. I don't know, um... Can't decide. Fuck. I mean, I don't. Fuck don't it. We're poisoning him. But poison is the surest way to see Lord Day. Then we have a plan. Get over it, fighters. They're still gonna be able to kill some guards. Whatever happens to me, I need you to get Ryan out alive. You know? As soon as we move on, Lord. Not a problem. You know you're the only family I've ever had. That makes Ryan my brother, too. I won't forget this. I've forgotten the number of times I've heard you say that. I've said that before. We will avenge Roderick's death tonight, whatever it takes. I mean, hey, they pulled that shit on us at the Red Wedding. We're gonna pull it on them. Drink this night to the prosperous future of our United Houses. I mean, honestly, it's called getting even, growing strong, you've earned a trophy. She's left the key! You want to get like a cloak? 
So when's this happening? Because, like, I don't know. I feel like this would be heard of on the uh, show. Maybe. Wardrin, I need your fucking there help. Take her. Are you fucking Solve serious? It. They're just walking. Um. I'll tell you on our way. You're making a big mistake. D don't you know who this is? Doesn't matter who he is. We're here for you. This is Lord Rickard Morgren. The most powerful ironwood merchant in King's Landing. One word to your superiors, and he'll have you carted off to the wall. Rickard, tell them how far you'd go to protect your friends. They have been good to you, man. I hope these men aren't bothering you. Oh, thank Christ. We have orders from Captain Lucan to... Let me worry about Lucan. You worry about buying yourselves a few tankards. On me. Thank you. For keeping our city safe. Corruption at its finest. You gotta fight corruption with corruption. Can I take how it works. Lady Mera? You know, Eddard, Eddard learned the hard way. You can't be noble and the good guy and then expect to win. That's why I'm doing poison lead, because I could be like, Oh, you're a coward. It's not the noble way. Well, hey, I mean, they pulled that with us for the Red the Wedding, Revenant. so... Thank you. Just pull it on them. The river gate, quick as you can. What's going on, Mira? Hmm. Is there a problem? Maybe I can help. Minor trouble, Lord Morgren. Nothing I can't deal with. Of course, I never doubted that. Although those guards did seem quite intent on dragging you off. Clearly, you've made powerful enemies here in King's Landing. Although. You've made short work of one of them, at least. I hear Lord Andros has found a home in the Black Cells. I'm impressed. It seems he took on the wrong handmaiden and lost. Andros was a snake, working for the White Hills. He got exactly what he deserved and no more. Yep. I'm inclined to agree. I doubt anyone will miss the oath. So the wall with you. Say hi to Eric for me. Of course. Now that you've gotten rid of my biggest competitor, all kinds of opportunities have opened up. Particularly in your part of the Seven Kingdoms. The Ironwood market is wide open. A lot